everybody. It is Saturday. That means it's time to imagine it and we are in the thick of summer. No doubt you've been outside, been exposed to a lot of sunshine. The big question that everyone asks is how do you protect yourself and what's really happening when you step outdoors? Exactly. So that's why I made this lovely bracelet for you, Tina. Oh, thank that's you. Yours. I will treasure this forever. <laughs> and what's cool about this is one, we sell them in our store so you can actually buy these beads. Oh, solar beads. Change in response to ultraviolet light. Right? Okay. That's what we're worried about when we're outside is the UV light. Sure. It's light that's just beyond what our eyes can detect. And we usually talk about two different kinds of UV light, UVA and UVB. Mm -hmm. UVA is what gives you a suntan. Okay. That's deep penetrating rays that go deep into your skin. Um, UVB is a little bit higher energy, doesn't penetrate just as deep. It's only about 5% of the UV light that comes down, but that's what gives you the sunburn. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So these beads are kind of cool in that they change color. In fact, so I don't know if you can see this. Oh, this is what they look like before they hit the sunlight? I, I think I probably chose the pa more pastel version for you. Okay. That's more the more multicolored. But nice. they start out in darkness like this, <gasps> oh. and they can see they begin to change pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's really cool. See that. Yeah, that's awesome. You can pop that one off too and oh. see inside there. There's like, they start clear. Uh huh. And in fact, even if you cover them with your hand, you can stop that UV light from hitting it and they'll sort of change back to a clear color. Oh, so, neat. Kind of okay. a, a crude way of seeing um, cool. how much UV light is hitting them. Okay. And <laughs> Great way for your kids to do it because yeah. they can put these on a bracelet or whatever. And it, and, and it reminds you because the thing about any sort of sunscreen yeah. is that you want to look for something that's labeled as broad spectrum. Okay. That blocks UVA and UVB. Okay, this is important. You might want to take some notes or listen up right now because I know that when you stand in the aisle, you're like, I don't know. Right. right. And, and the sun protection factor, the 30, the 50, the 100, um, what that sort of refers to, it, it's a little bit confusing, I think. It refers to if you, let's say you burned, got a sunburn being outside in two hours. Okay. This would protect you for 30 times two or 60 hours. But that's really not going to mm, work, right? That's no. in a laboratory. What's going to happen if you're outside, you're going to sweat, mm -hmm. you're going to go in the water, you're going to wash off all the protection. Sure. So what you know, people say is re reapply every hour and a half, every two hours. Okay. And it turns out, they've done studies, most people apply not the correct amount. They apply about 30 to 50% of what you need to apply. If you're really? using If you're using one of these guys, uh -huh. that's the spray, you need to apply enough that your skin you can, turns shiny. You can spray shiny. it on me. Okay. Oh. We need... And see, oh, the, wow. The reason I don't like these two is half of it's going away over there. It's blowing away okay. into the breeze. Okay. I just discovered this. This is so cool. It's like, that looks like, it's like a deodorant. Yeah. Right? But you can, like, you know, you can put SPF right okay. on it. Okay. It's, right. it's dry. It's not greasy. It's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, you know, the 15, if we had a 15 out here, that would block about 93% of the UV light. Okay. 15, 93%. A 30 would do about 97. 97. The 50 is going to do about 98. Okay. You can see where the numbers are going here. Sure. You're not gaining a whole lot by going much beyond 50. Okay. And then we do have 100 here. Okay. And you there know. are studies out there that back that up that say, exactly. you know, when you're starting to see these crazy numbers. Eh. Exactly. Okay. And one quick reminder this one ounce shot is how much sunscreen you need to apply to your whole body. Okay. Wow. So. Nobody. Sure. Nobody so does so that. most people just like dude. They little. don't like the greasy feeling. Yeah. You know, like all that. Yeah, kind of like a nickel size, but that's not <laughs> that's clearly true. not right. Now, one of the cool things about like these UV beads and sun spray and mm -hmm. screen like that, I think it's ripe for a cool science fair experiment. Okay. Right? So let's let's try take something notes, really quick. Take notes. Um, you can buy online like these little cards that change color. I'm going to cover up part of it with my finger. That little purple band right uh -huh. there is showing us how much UV light. If I take it away, oh, it quickly changes in the sun. You can't even see it. Go back. Oh sure. Well, it's a really sunny day. Okay. So um, we have some UV beads right here, and they're going to change color. Oh, okay. Let's just do a really. Those quick, were clear. Yes. They were clear just seconds, seconds ago. Seconds ago, yeah. Let's just do a quick spray. Let's see if we can actually um, spray some sunscreen on here. I've got the hundred. You okay. take one of these. All right. And we'll just do like maybe a light coating. I'm partial to the 30. Okay. And you know, but these compounds actually have chemicals inside that absorb UV light, uh -huh. and also. Um, things that block the light physically. Look at that. Wow. That's a, that's a dramatic change yes. right there, even with just the 30. You okay. did a very nice job coating that. Hmm. And look, the 100 as well, they're starting to go clear. Sure. Okay. Now, that one, I mm. uh, probably didn't put enough, I don't know, maybe they didn't get enough on there. So, well, no, it's, nobody it's blowing ever back applied, on you. And it's yeah. blowing in the air, you lose half of it, nobody sure. ever applies enough. All things to consider, right? I mean, sure, yeah. It's always better to wear some sunscreen than any. Okay. You need a lot, mm -hmm. so put it on. Reapply often. If you're going to sweat, you go in the water. It's going to wash off. All right. And there's always the deodorant stick. The deodorant stick is so cool. It's one way to go. All right. Well, Carl, <laughs> that's a good one. Of course, it is summertime. Get out there and enjoy, but make sure you have that sunscreen on and 
of course, you always find the science behind the That's sun. Right. Absolutely. That's how you imagine it.